Hello everyone, I'm Chester44 and welcome to this Let's Play of Abaddon. Last episode, we reported back in here and ended up talking with all our companions. We also happened to step into the library here and read on the history of this land. And now, and we also found the portal. We also got a quest in order to help out with a little problem going on upstairs. I think we can do that. Dust and flakes of parchment are heavy in the air back here. You sneeze. This passage must lead to the back storage for less useful tomes. It is cold and still, unnaturally so. You hear an unnerving clicking, scraping sound coming from the top of the stairs. And here is what? Group heel scroll, sure. Alright, here we are. Wow, we're alone? We're going to be killing these alone. Interesting. These are the deep stacks of the Avedon Library, where thousands of musty tomes on every conceivable topic are stored in the seemingly endless array of bookshelves. The librarians have not come up here recently, and you soon realize why. It is very dark and deathly cold. You can hear something in the shadows, something softly scraping along the stone corridors. You find yourself checking to make sure that your weapon is handy. Okay, then. Let's see. Nothing there. Up oh, there they are. Walking bones. Oh, he can kill them easily, it looks like. Yeah, they're not doing that much damage. It's gonna be relatively easy. Okay, that's those dead. Let's see if we can find anything else in here of interest. We're gonna peek around, around. We're probably gonna find stuff. Okay, what about over here? Well, this heads higher up. Deeper into the tower. Deeper into the deep stacks. Hello. Ooh. Something happened up there. That, that can't be good. That's a ghoul. That's definitely not good. Hey, regenerating. I forgot that happened every so often. Hey, there are a lot of undead up here. How did they even get up here? She said they were released, but why were they being held above the deep stacks? Doesn't make much sense to me. Excuse me. Sorry about that. Okay. Something burned some of the bookshelves here. Deeper scroll. We might give that to someone. Uh, yeah, there's books in there. Ah! Okay, what's in here? Opaline Scarab. Group Mental Cure. Oh, that is very handy. I'll give that to someone. The Wand of Fire. Also potentially useful. Okay. More books up here. More stacks up here. Nothing to see from them, it looks like. Okay, so what's in this book? This book is about the corruption. Very well. We can learn about the corruption. Where is... Where is the corruption? There it is. The corruption is one of the Far Lands, the outer regions that the Pact was formed to hold at bay. Of the Far Lands, however, the corruption is the one that is least like a nation or territory. It is better described as a mad swirl of uncontrolled magic, hideous monsters, and burned dead land. Actually, the corruption serves best as a cautionary tale of what happens when magic is not properly controlled. Nobody knows what the wizards up in those mountains were trying to do roughly five centuries ago. All we know is the result. A wave of raw, devastating chaos that engulfed all of the peninsula before it faded. There were cities and settlements out there once. Some tribes from the Wild Realm and the Kava were expanding into those barren hills. When the disaster occurred, however, only those who fled immediately made it to the border alive. The survivors were taken by spectral nightmares and the walking dead. 
Since then, the dread magic that holds the corruption has showed no signs of fading. Nothing grows, and only those unpleasant entities who don't actually need food to survive dwell there, and reproduce there, and send the occasional horde of zombies or whatnot forth north to cause trouble. Fortunately, fending off the random incursions from the corruption is not difficult, and since the dark power there stays within its border, few efforts have been taken to reclaim the area. But nobody knows the source of the corruption, or what infernal master might secretly rule it, and thus that dark place remains a constant threat. Hmm, I don't know if we'll ever be in the... I don't know if we'll ever end up going into the corruption. Probably not. Okay, this goes back down. Let's see what we find over here. More undead, it looks like that skeleton was blue. Icy Bone Master. Okay, let's, uh... Yeah, what the hell. We can hit all of them, perfect. That Icy Bone Master looks strong, though. Ah, perfect. Just what I wanted. Blade sweep. Okay, this fight's actually going to be a little trickier. Ah, can we explode. This is getting rougher. Okay, second wind, I think. Okay, we got this master. And... Hi, jeez. There we go. Okay. That wasn't too terrible. Back around this way, and... Oh. Battle rune stone. Another lamp. An arcane scroll. I don't know if that's something that'll be valuable to her. We'll see. We'll try and hand it in. And that's done! That was pretty easy. Okay. You should be somewhere over here. Ah. <coughs> ah, I found some papers with notes on magic. Give them. I, Lyra, takes the papers and inspects them. Excellent. If there is new magical research, we want it to be under our control. She has an assistant fetch a pouch of coins for you. I have destroyed the unliving creatures in the stacks. Then, at last, our library can function properly. I thank you for your help. I will reward you with the magic of Abaddon. She removes a scarab from a pouch and hands it to you. You seem to have promise, and there is always much that must be done. Perhaps the eyes will have profitable work for you later. Is there anything else I can do for you? Nothing that would justify the effort and the price. Perhaps later. Excellent. Oh, and Shima leveled up. Again. Wonderful. Okay, what are we going to work on? Hmm. Okay, you're in good shape there. Hmm. Hmm. Better chance of getting critical hits. I like that idea. Hmm. Um. Yeah, sure. Better chance of getting critical hits? Sounds like a good idea. Okay. We got a Scarab of Warfare. Plus one to Strength and Dexterity. That sounds very useful. I think we'll give that to Shima. <clears throat> okay, and the other one is... Root Mental Cure. You only have one. We'll give it to you. You also only have one. Ahem. <coughs> now nah, we'll give it to you. <clears throat> Alright. And we have a few things we can just drop off. Oh, uh... Wand of Fire. I don't think we really need it. We already have one, in fact. Charm Foe and Speed Burst. I'll, just, I'll keep the Speed Burst. But the Charm Foe... Yeah, I give it to you. All right, let me go drop off this item in my quarters. I really should use these rune stones, but I just I just don't know if it's worth it to use it on all these things. I mean, I have all this stuff, but I don't know if it's worth it. 
<sighs> it's like, I don't want to end up using it on an item and then end up getting rid of that item just shortly after. I dropped the wand of fire here, too. <sighs> I, I know, I should be using this, but I just... I just don't know if it's useful. I mean, the bonus to dexterity, yes, I suppose that would be good. Increased strength, increased intelligence, yes, those are good things. I have an idea for the intelligence. It's the intelligence that I can use. I'm going to use that on... Your Vest of the Shaman. Even more intelligence boosted. I like that idea. Actually, no. Hold on. I feel like this student's robe... If we gave her something, something else would be better improved. <sighs> You've already got the bonus, too. Shouldn't be you. You see, this is how I am with things that can only be used once. It's just... I, I, I just don't know what to use it with. I can't. I can't. This is the way I am with consumable items. I mean, sure. The ones that you just pick them up and you use, fine. I'm starting to use stuff like spell, like scrolls, potions, and all that sort of stuff. I'm starting to use those. Fine. But consumable items like those, I just, I, I can't. I have no idea what to use them on whether it's the right thing to use them on, and it just seems like a bad idea because you don't know if the item you're using it on is going to end up being redundant and pointless and changed afterwards. I just can't. We got 15 minutes left. Uh, I don't want to go into a new area now. Doesn't seem worth it. You know what? I think I have an idea. I think instead, I'll go do a couple runarounds to check on a few things and clear out some stuff. One thing I'll do is I'll unlock that one door we found in... What was it? Up in here. I'll take uh, Nathalie and Shima with me. We'll unlock that door, see what's behind that area. Sorry about that. And we might also see about getting that lead room. Oh, oh, whoa, oh, the history scrolls. We have more of them. I forgot about that. We have more of them down in here. I forgot to grab some of them. All right, we can turn them in. And we have so much coin now. Eh, I want to hold on to it. I feel like we might end up using it in the next regions. I mean, it seems like something we might to expect to be able to use it on. Okay, let's see we got seven arcane scrolls. That's going to give us some nice coin, I think. Alright. Then I'll go investigate that door. This episode, probably not as interesting as the previous ones. But still. And it seems like we've explored most of Abaddon. The only region really left is over in here. I wonder if that'll send us to Dharam or something. Hi, Lyra. Here's some more papers. Thank you. I didn't actually check to see how much. And another level up, this time for Sevelin. Intelligence to 10. Weakness cursed on nearby foes. I like that. Perfect. Okay. Now then, like I said, we'll go through here and see about un picking, that picking that door. I will be back while I make the bit of a run there. Oh, looks like the people here ran off. Well, good. I mean, I suppose it's to be expected. Oh, hey, wait. Amethyst Scarab? Where did we get that? Heal nearby allies? Sure, I suppose you can give that to Nathalie. Oh, we need to be in the main floor of Abaddon, that's right. Okay, three bolts of cloth that I happen to find there. Could be useful. Alright, let's pick this door.
One lockpick. Wow, that's the difference that comes from it. And we got Elixir of Recovery. That is very useful. Charm Foe. And Circle of Fire. And we also have a bag of meal. Such a big empty area here. I feel like there should be more. But, well, I guess not. Okay. I think there was also a chest down to the south. I'll be back. I'm going to see if I can run in there and open it up. Once again, cutting it. Right. I think there was a chest in here somewhere that was locked. No, it wasn't that one. Was it this one? Yep, there we go. Hey, another level up. Encanter's Runestone. Curses are more effective. Not very useful. Recuperation Crystal. 100 coins. And nothing else, if you note. Okay. Pretty nice stuff. And a level up for Nathalie. Fine, get your strength to 10. You don't need it very much, but meh. Okay. A Magical Mastery Point. Just to improve it. We'll get Searing Spray to level 3 at the next level. Which will be very useful. And... What else are we going to improve? What do we really want? Hmm. You'll absorb 10% per level magical or elemental damage and use the power to regain your abilities. That is incredibly useful. That's something I'd like to do. And you'll be able to get Charm Foe soon. Okay. Definitely. <sighs> Only one point. That's fine. Okay, then, I think that works. Fine. Next level will improve Shearing Spray, and then we'll work on getting that to level 7, because I like that idea a lot. Magical Mastery would be handy, but we'd be... Firestorm. That's something we need to get, but that's going to take a while. Okay. I think that's good. Okay. Now, back to Avedon again. And there is somewhere, one other place that I want to take a look at. Way, way back over in the Kava this time. Someone suggested that there's a way I can get that Libra. Yes, I did see your post on YouTube. Thank you very much. He suggested there was a secret pass. I'll, I'll, I'll elaborate once we get there. Even unsure as I am about stealing from a dragon. Okay. So, one of the YouTube commenters, Bloops, or something like that, I forget the exact name, it was like four vowels in a row, one of them an X, said that I should look around in here, hinting that there was a hidden switch somewhere. And there is. Okay, so this goes out somewhere. Where does it go to? And we have fire lizards. Okay. Salamanders. Very well. You won't be able to burn them. I have no idea where this is going to come out. What abilities do you have now, anyway? Shattering Blow. Searing Pot. On one target. Meh. Okay. Since you can, Blade Sweep. You're gonna have to stick with your bow, because you can't burn them. Well, they're not that tough, really. Come on. There we go. This is animal skin, potion of battle. This leads up in this direction. Where is this going? Another salamander. Oh, a level up. Okay. And we've got scaled thrashers. Doesn't sound very good. Those are probably Im not immune to fire, though. No, they are not. Burning will continue perfectly. 
Alright. Here's another place. That's useful. Okay, let's finish these things off. Okay, there we go. Some coins, a lightning scroll. What else have we got back here? Lovely crystals. Another lovely crystal. And this stairway goes down. Where does this go, though? I see. So this is going to go all the way to here. This is an interesting place to explore, and I don't think we have the time to explore it. Hmm. And there are hostile creatures in here. I haven't grabbed the Libram. Okay, you leveled up. What am I going to improve with you? What did I say I was going to improve? Hmm. That repost would actually be very nice to have. I honestly can't remember what I was trying to work on getting. Hmm. I suppose work on getting that repost. Oh, neat. You can actually see the improvements over there. Very nice. Interesting as it would be to explore this area, I don't think we have the time. Oop, easy, easy. Let's not start attacking these things yet. I don't think we have the right people to do this. Hmm. You know what? We'll stick with what we got, and we'll explore in this tunnel in the next episode, but I'm not sure about taking the lead room yet. We'll explore through this tunnel, and then see about taking the Libram. I want to clear it out first. That'll be in the next episode. So, until then, I am Chester44. That is Jason, Shima, and Nathalie. This has been an Avidon Let's Play, and I shall see you all next time.